my grandpa was a welder. You know, it came out of the Great Depression, and so everything that he had had to be fixed. When I was a kid, I spent my summers with him all the time. He kind of showed me that there's always a solution. Nick Gomez, 25 years old. I'm an iron worker, local 377. I've been working here at the bridge for two years total now. Welding is kind of like a symphony. You have your foot control. You have to steady both hands. It has a rhythm. If you deviate from the rhythm, you can see it. It's satisfying. A lot of the stuff out here isn't made anymore, so you have to find ways to remake parts. First, I kind of sketch something out. Maybe I'll use a ruler, make it to a certain scale, and I'll take it to AutoCAD and draw the part out and then transport it over to plasma cutter software. And then from the cutting software, it cuts it out. I'll clean up the edges down to clean metal and then touch up any little spots, tack it together, weld it so it's one solid piece. Working here, you get to know everybody on more of like a personable level because most people that work here work their, the rest of their career here. We do all the torque checking of the bolts. It's pretty critical that all the bolts are to spec so that the bridge doesn't break. Well, we're kind of like the, the shadows in the dark. Most people don't think, you know, when they're walking across the bridge that there's 40 guys working on the bridge below them, you know. You do that kind of stuff so that they can keep walking on the bridge and they can keep driving across the bridge. It's like one of the proudest things I've done is got a job here. Coming from a small town where not a whole lot's going on. When I go back, everybody's like, oh, the bridge boy. When you like what you do, you never really work. <laughs>